Hi. For those who don't know my name, I am Simone Braga, and please listen to this prayer in audio until the end. Today we will pray the powerful prayer of Psalm 114, which is in itself the facilitator of a strong renunciation of a tragedy, in this case, the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is ravaging the world with the COVID-19 disease. I suppose you are not subscribed to this channel, All Faith Theory. I would like you to do it as it will help our channel. In the name of God, you hear and love so much, and please subscribe. Click on the bell, and leave your comment. I would also like you to pass this audio on to your friends, as everyone will have the opportunity to hear our new content. Our mission is to pass the important thing, the Lord's words. Now I would like you to pay attention to this direction. This prayer is so powerful. To exterminate SARS, COVID, too. For those who are suffering right now. Psalm 114 is peculiar, for the Creator says that this psalm is the key that brings it to fulfillment, a kind of shield to close the guard against malicious actions and harmful waves, and the evil, act on our earthly path, deflecting fortune and your well-being of humanity. The call for effective prayer. Then, never tell God you have a big problem, but say to the problem you have a big God. I must confess that this fe feeling of stability seems dangerous to me. I intuit that it is much more a child of the resignation of discontent, larvae, with the system is still there. Social polarization too. As well as the long frustration with a life with no real prospects. You're suffering a lot from this nasty foreigner, SARS, COV, too. But our faith will drive out this unknown invader, which devastates humanity, nations, the entire world, and I would like to leave here a word of solidarity, especially to India. With the strength of God, and the Holy Spirit, we will reach victory, as Psalm 114 says. Expression of power when Israel left Egypt, and the house of Jacob, a foreign people. Tremble in the presence of the Sovereign, O earth, in the presence of the God of Jacob. Get out of our life SARS, Covey, too because you are not Sovereign in the presence of God of Jacob, you are an act of Satan, now with the power of the Holy Spirit, you will be expelled from the lands that bear fruit, the lands of peace, the lands of happiness, prosperity and brotherhood, created by God the Almighty Father. Please follow my advice, pray as often as possible several times a day, for God, the King of Kings, Doctor of Doctors, Banker of Bankers, Worker of Workers. Our honored divine friend, the Lord's, will enter with an immediate action. This psalm is an actual poem that translates the word of a people. Whoever wrote this psalm was born with the certainty that he was not alone. Based on this principle, most people will do their best to reach God in great grace, which will serve both their lives and the community, so that there is a union in the form of an even greater liberation. Because it is the perfect will of God that each one is released from their prisons. 
The glory of God and the Holy Spirit make people feel the liberation and live worthily. Let's pray Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion, the sea looked and fled. The Jordan turned back. The mountains leaped like rams. The hills like lambs. Why was it, see, that you fled? Why, Jordan, did you turn back? Why, mountains, did you leap like rams? You hills, like lambs, tremble, earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. Pray with me, our Father, with great faith. Lord's Prayer our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God will bless your victory mightily. Now repeat after me, Glory to Lords and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I love you all, thank you all for listening. In the name of God, please subscribe to the channel. God bless you forever. Goodbye.